Hello and welcome to our tutorial on easy answer set programming. My name is Javier Romero from the University of Potsdam in Germany and I'm also a member of the Potasco team that nowadays is spread all around the world. So for those of you who see the term answer set programming for the first time, you can see it as a kind of programming language that is based on artificial intelligence methods where the idea is that instead of telling the computer how to solve a problem step by step, we simply describe what our problem is and then a piece of software called a solver is able to find the solution to our problem. Then the goal of this tutorial is to make answer set programming easy. And as such, this is intended primarily for beginners, but I think it can also be of interest for people who already have some experience with answer set programming, because for example, it may provide some new perspective on it. The tutorial can be followed independently, but it is also part of our course answer set solving in practice. And if it is the first time that you hear about our course, I can only recommend you to go and have a look at it. I put the URL of it in the description of this video and you can go there and have a look at it. Also something important, all the material for this tutorial will be available from that webpage where you can of course also access the rest of the materials for the course answer set solving in practice. Now the contents that I will be presenting are the result of joint work with my colleagues Jorge Fandinho, Simra Misra and Tosten Schaub. And of course, everything I will be talking about owes a lot to our great answer set programming community. And here especially, I would like to mention the work of Professor Ilka Niemela from Aalto University. Now, this section is about how the tutorial is organized, so let's go to it. This is our roadmap for the tutorial. The first part is about the motivation of answer set programming. And here I want to let you know first what is answer set programming and second, why is it interesting? And actually what happens is that Torsten Schaub in our course answer set solving in practice has explained all this very well. So then what I will do simply is I will add to this tutorial two videos where he explains all this. And for those of you who are following our course answer set solving in practice, then probably you have already watched those videos so you can skip them. And on the other hand, for those of them who haven't watched them, I will just add two of them, but you may want to be, you may be interested in watching the whole section on the motivation of the answer set solving in practice course that contains more than these two videos. Okay, then in this introduction, I will tell you what is easy answer set programming, and we will do it going through very simple examples. And the main ideas that I want to, to provide you here is first an understanding of logic programs and their answer sets and on the other hand a very simple methodology on how to write logic programs taking into account this idea on logic programs and answer sets. Now here we will really only talk about simple logic programs because then in section three, we will have a look at the full language of answer set programming. And what is nice is that we will see that extending the language to the full language will be very simple. And the intuitions that we will see in the introduction part will fit here perfectly. So there will not be much effort to adapt what we see in the introduction to this new language. Just we have to know this new construct. So at this point, we will have already a knowledge about the pieces of the programming language, of the answer set programming language. Now, what we will do in this section is see how to model with this language. What actually, I have said programming, but as we will see, what we will do is not really programming, it's what we call modeling. So we will have a look at that here in this fourth section. And then, this fifth section is a bit different to the rest of the tutorial. Here what I will do is I will provide you with a formal account of our approach and here things will get precise, 
with mathematical formula and so on. So this also means that <clears throat> this is not strictly necessary for learning how to program or how to use answer set programming. But anyway, I think this may be of interest to all of you. What you can always do is have a look at it and if you find it nice, just keep going. Now, this uh, is now a special comment for those following the course answer set solving in practice is that in this part, I will relate what we are seeing in the tutorial with the definitions, with the kind of standard definitions that you will see along the course. So this may be very interesting for you, especially because now you will be seeing it maybe from a bit another perspective. And then when you see the foundations, you will see very clearly what is the relationship between what I have been telling you in this tutorial and what you uh, have seen in our course, especially in the introduction section. So I think this is all I wanted to tell you about the roadmap. And yes, then I hope you enjoyed the tutorial with me. So see you and stay tuned. Bye.